carrying the last month or so for the Caps. He's looking to go above 500. Referees tonight, John McIsaac, Brandon Schrader, lines persons Kyle Flemington, and Killian McNamara. We get a whistle six seconds in this Friday night. Glad you've tuned in. With the Sandine angles back up ice through neutral. Ovechkin was surrounded at the attacking line. On the go, Jarvis feeds. Work it out wide, snapshot on the way. Defended well by Kemper, rebound, tucked home. Gensel poised in the slot. Yep, and he can pull the trigger as well as anybody in the National Hockey League. And he hardly touched that puck and it was released off his stick. On the right side, here he is stopping this one. But the puck comes right around behind and there you see him get tied up at the far side. As you watch Sandine work his way back through center. Leave it along for McMichael, further still to Milano. Chips the pass to himself, Sonny gets outside. Drops it off in the corner. Burns there to interrupt for Carolina. Milano, short side tuck, he scores! Allowing a power play goal. Here Burns gets it a couple of times, misplays it, it's kicked. And Connor McMichael might get the primary assist. Watch Connor just get it off his left toe there. And there's the sneak attack by Milano. Kachekov did not know he was coming out this side. Burns for Carolina as we get to the McNugget minute of the opening period. If the Caps score in the final minute of any regulation frame, it's a free six-piece McNugget for you with a minimum $1 purchase the next day on the McDonald's app. Bounce back behind the goal. Kukaniemi feeds. Fire and score. Slavin with a buzzer. Yep. Kukaniemi really made a great play down there. He stopped the puck with his shoulder, got it settled down, and then made the play. Watch this. There's the play by the goaltender Camper. It's the right move to try to fire it around the wall. He won a little loose battle, went around the net. Now the Caps are in scramble mode, and no one has the D sneaking in there. What a beautiful backhand pass, and to the roof it goes far side. A sneaking in defenseman has given Carolina on the Slavin shot to the top corner a 2-1 to one lead late here in the first. 29. Washington. Natchez backpedaling away from Sandine. Mercurial winger with great speed and terrific hands. Burns fires, deflection score. Darcy Kemper says he was being interfered with. That's why he's washing it out. We'll see if the officials agree. And he continues to wave it off. Due to goalie interference. The potential double whammy is, again, the goal counting and Carolina staying on or going to a power play. After further review, it was determined that there was goaltender interference. We have no goal on the play. Strom will try it again. Top side Carlson, half boards LaPierre, Miroshnichenko for Strom. Backdoor, score! Alex Ovechkin! Stick's going to be too strong for you. A little bit of a broken pass there, but on the doorstep, and his high is 42. He is ready, maybe, to break that mark this season the way he's been passing. And Hyundai, the longer you look, Milano hits a little chip shot to score. This hockey game. I was talking about their faceoffs being good. Well, how about that handiwork? Strom will get another assist, but watch one, two, and up and over the goaltender. He definitely is the hands guy that we know he is. I mean, he's always fidgeting with the puck. I think that hit the linesman, didn't it? Right at the blue line against the boards and slowed down the puck on the entry. Svechnikov got it and batted it to Martinuk. And I don't think that one's going to count. Linesman Flemington and McNamara with a quick visit on the hotline to Toronto. After video review, it's the turn of the play. was offside. There's no goal on the play. A raucous house inside of Capital One Arena. Caps fans roaring their lungs out, hoping that the Caps can take down Carolina this Friday night. Henry Pants on the back door. Bang. 
Aho to the roof. Yeah, Aho is second of the game. He's been a going concern. And again, the fans cheering because they just announced the Milano goal. And now again, starting a little booze. And, and it's in the net in a hurry. There's the misplay by Ferrari down low. Here comes the pass across. And you see Kemper already squared. He'll check out a draw to his right with 19 seconds left. We're still four on four. The Cavs will have additional power play. Whoa, additional power play time to start the third. Natchez off of a giveaway. 12 seconds left. Natchez brings it back along the wall. Feed it up top. This one's off of the glove of Kemper and in. Shea strikes late. That's a real tough one to give up at this juncture of this game. TBR did a great job. Watch this. Stopping and starting. Then it comes back. And there it is hitting the tip of the glove. And this is what Darcy would love to have back here as they make it four to three on a long range shot through a little bit of a maze and off the tip of his glove. And you could just see Darcy's reaction. They've taken away a lot of the things that Kirk Muller has wanted them to put together and they're executing. Deflection try, stop, rebound, and the kick out save. Kachetkov has made three beauties in this third period. Caps turn up the heat again. Slavin blocks the pass. Carlson unloads, he scores! John Carlson! What 83 miles an hour? Here it comes under the bar. He's been shooting the slot pass deflected, ooh, sent high by Pacioretty, the former Hurricane in the lineup for Washington. Pesci can hardly move. He took the breath that slap shot. Closing in, snap shot here. The Chetkov the save, rebound, score! Carolina Hurricanes hockey here. They're swarming Carolina. There's a beautiful save by the goaltender. There's a shot by John Carlson. Burns off the head fake. Ajo fires. Deflection went wide. And Charlie didn't know where that deflection was going. He was actually looking the other way. Second time this season that uh, Lindgren has come on. Bang, bang, play to the interior. Jarvis hits the bullseye. Well, Jarvis has been the highest shooting cane recently. I think that's goals in six straight for him. Well, there's the triangle passing. Svechnikov down low, right in front from Gensel off the right. Miroshnichenko delivers to McMichael. Connor pulls up and fires. Kachetkov with a save, juggled the rebound. Miroshnichenko for Van Riemsdyk. Snapshot through traffic. Score! McMichael! Here. And he finds his way through everybody. And notice in front, you have the defenseman in forward. It hits his backside of Shea. And there on the doorstep is a tap in for Connor McMichael. Amazing. But it's all about the shot from TBR, the loose change in front. And McMichael's on the board. And the Caps have the lead. Burns on the outside, plays the end wall. Aho and Stahl and Svechnikov are camped out in front. At point position, Burns. Play it to the midpoint. Get it right back. Shea at the midpoint. Long drive. Trickles in. Carolina gets the tying tally at six. A lucky bounce off the body. It looked like to the right of Charlie Lindgren. And it's just a rink-wide pass to a slap shot. It's when they moved it side to side. Check out the rink-wide pass. And then in front of the net, you're allowed to set up. And there it hits him in the body there. And Ajo's going to get credit. That puck was going wide. And it hits Ajo and deflects in. Here's the shot by Natchez. Definitely wider than net. And there's Ajo just trying to get out of the way, it looked like, trying to move his left leg out of harm's way. Look at how far outside of the net he is. Hits him on the left knee and gets past the goaltender. Five seconds to go. Each team will bank a point as this game goes beyond regulation. Tied up at six in Washington, D.C. Toe drag move not there for Svechnikov. Aho turns back to center. This game goes to the shootout. So we go to the fourth. Gloves save Lindgren with a denial on 
Tara Vinen. Nine stops. Strom over four this season. Strom waits, fires, he scores! Washington goes home happy by the final of 7-6.